welcome back to La Revolution. Hopefully, we're just about done down here. Why didn't we hear that? Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh. 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 I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have <laughs> such purity. Are you going to marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que yo la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> but come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes, the man you seek together. We will bring them to justice. Uh huh. Let's go. I have been hearing that forever. <laughs> Come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Um, there is an entire th parcel of Tanti in the back of this. Just received word of your fight with Agenda's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. But why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? I could see they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed, or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. The Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master. But that's all he was. Okay, John, just don't bring up Luisa, okay? Where are they, Abraham? <laughs> they are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met, the scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. Amen, John. We both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuella is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother out of hand all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. <laughs> Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. John, you are selfish. <laughs> and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Well, yeah, unlike you, John. <laughs> yeah. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he 
really admired Dutch, of course, but then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right? When Dutch started falling apart, it hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was Everybody went crazy. He believed him turned out to be a prop. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fun. We was close once. But he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach well, if we had a nickel for everybody who left you to die, John, we'd be rich. <laughs> Very rich. Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron his price visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. I think they made this section so large just so we can get all of this exposition out of the way. <laughs> that girl back there? Another loyal supporter a free man. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Jump? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then That's for sure. You never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. Yeah, for her. I've known about enough <laughs> without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. Oh dear God, I'd love to put a bullet in this asshole's head. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? <laughs> yeah, John, so do I. <laughs> and we're lagging for the first time tonight. It was a good run. It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, no, wh what? Like <laughs> very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does, or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You will make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. <laughs> yeah. There isn't one redeeming character down here. I guess Luis is okay for a angry, <laughs> friggin' vengeance-driven woman. I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets. And the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Alinde, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many, and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work, it will. If it does work, you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life! But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself! Alright, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. Uh-huh. Holy fuck, are we there yet? in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. 
We have had four conversations on this fucking ride. <laughs> Let us just oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, is that it? Are you done talking, Reyes? Good God. I would skip to the destination, but I'm pretty sure it's right up the road. To. The city is just up ahead. Preparate, mi hermano. This is our time. Hey, the yellow X, we're here. <laughs> My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you are close. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Come on. Go on, John. You can do this. What? <laughs> Oh god, please don't tip over, please don't tip over, please don't tip over. Oh. <laughs> it was kind of worth it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, no more fucking around. Good luck, my brother. We will be right behind you. <laughs> What just happened? Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay, so don't do it when he says to do it. Remember to jump, my friend! I think that was okay. All right. Even though that didn't look like it was okay, I guess it was okay. Go look for a square. We will deal with this cabrón. I guess just nobody minds me. That's what I'm doing, dude. Calm down. I know you're here, old friend. What the hell? Okay. No, no, John, get down.
He was still alive. No. I drop down. No, don't climb. John, stop climbing. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I'm doing that. I just had a really goofy moment there. I'm assuming no matter what, he's gonna be. Oh. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. And you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so, now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I ain't the judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die? Whoa. To save your own skin. And now, <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even you think he's not going to push that box? Yeah. <laughs> you won't get me alive, John! I am stuck on something and it's going to get me to lose this mission and I'm going to be pissed off. John, I'm mashing that run button. Why aren't you running? Yeah, I see that he's getting away. I obviously should have jumped through the fucking window. Come on, horse. It's you and me against the world. He had a horse? Oh yeah. And he's shooting. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hog tie him. <laughs> you bring up my wife and all this, you piece of shit. <laughs> we was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Man, he got far away. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Yeah, and he's next. Come on. Do you 
and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell, you pathetic fool. You weak, You're gonna be pathetic fool. You're going to be locked for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Put him in the cell for now, John. Come on, easy up now. No, oh, god damn it. Why does my horse move when I need him not to? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I say, this ain't been a social call. It's just business. Oh, you shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh, one day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still <laughs> a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcement. Go. Yeah, go with your puto. I guess I'm going to be getting on the Gatling gun again. We have to hold the fort, John. Use one of the cannons. Oops, nope. That's not where they want me. What the hell? I stink with this thing. Really? Get back up there, please. Things are about to get really messy. I'll be seeing you in hell, my friends. <laughs> Well, that was the direct route. So good. Uh, I was hoping that was the last mission, but it ain't. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John. Until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I am one famous motherfucker. Okay. Oh, God, there's another mission down here.
Oh, I'm sure it's like, let's see, how far am I going to have to ride for this one? <laughs> oh, maybe he's already at the, um... Yeah, he is. Okay, good. I believe we are going to finish up Mexico. And that's good, because I am just about done with this. I want to get up north where bears can kill me. Plus, I gotta get beaver pelts for that dude so we can try to fly that thing. I don't know if I've ever done that side mission. I am really hoping to get this done tonight. Woman, if you try to kill me... Fine. We are gonna make lots and lots of handles. Yeah, what's up, Merrick? We're... Let me just, uh... Go, beat it. You can have the money, Might as well stock up on weapons before this last mission. All right. I've never seen one of those types of side, uh, you know, roadside things where the, the girl just genuinely needed help. So in my hunt for killing, uh, for my old mates, I am facilitating a revolution in another country. I'm pretty sure that breaks the Prime Directive. game has such an amazing, like, skybox. Oh god, is it gonna rain during this stupid assault? Poor visibility got me killed on the train. Fine, I'll not do the revolution and get your wagon back. Oh! 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 Oh, sir, you died dirty. <laughs> this is mighty generous of you, mister. Jesus, this horse is insane. Wow, 
Wow, this horse is really difficult to control. Wow, you gave me 23 bucks for that? Jesus. Come on, horse. Oi, gentlemen! <laughs> He's so too cool for the room. Revolution, schmevolution. <laughs> It's hats versus non-hats in a fight to the death. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Uh, oh, you huh? should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If no. I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. Put that gun down, American. Yeah, yeah, matalo. Oh, Jesus. Santa Maria. So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men. I win. <laughs> you would die like dogs. <laughs> no, we will fight like lions. For we are the three amigos. Let's hope my I'm better at this than I have been. I nope, I still suck at duels. Ah, Jesus Christ. I tried to go for the gun, like I'm supposed to, and I got killed. This time I'm just going to shoot him in the face. Like, the reticle's supposed to be small and white when you do this. To give you the best, uh, raise your meter faster. Yeah. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Senor, Can we do this today, please? Jails, we will fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Agenda's jail. They will be a great help to us. Okay, fine. Not gonna question this. Oh, forget it. <sighs> yeah, I'm just your avenging angel, don't mind me. Ah, I can't take the shortcut. Oh, 
What? Holy fuck, I forgot. I cut him free so it automatically defaults to the fucking knife. Oh god, I hate that. I hate that I forget this constantly. In fact, I should use the handgun for this. Oh, does that drive me nuts? How the fuck are you guys still alive? Were these guys wearing bulletproof vests? Senor, let us free. We will help you. Thank you, compadre. I will fight next to you. Watch yourselves, gentlemen. <coughs> Excuse me. Start looting, <laughs> picking up bullets on the way up. What have you got for me? If you don't stop that, you ain't gonna Ooh. live. That was a kneecap shot. That looked really painful. That's weird. You know something? I want to see which... Might be armored. And my cover sucks. Vamos, mis hermanos. Tomamos la mansión de Allende. You are all muerto. Actually, John, you were just the one that was muerto, so. They fucking default me back out to the uh I don't Oh yeah. 